so exciting to be back in an airport again. So excited. My ears look so weird in this mask. <laughs> be pulled forward. Because <laughs> it's a bit tight. Yeah. Very nice. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I will be more excited when we're checked in. Um, well, we're checked in yeah. already, but when our bags are done and we're through security and then... Yeah. We've got priority boarding, which means we should get on quite quickly. And it's fairly hassle-free, but you never know with these things, do you? Yeah, no delays so, so far as well. Good. Yeah, for, for a change. There's not that many people here, so I wonder if the plane's not going to be that full, actually. So, we'll see. Although we're getting on a plane to Romania, which means most people turn up in about an hour's time. Yeah. We're keen beans, but everybody else, not so much. What have you got there? Got a bell. Yeah. We've been tasked with decorating uh, mum and dad's house for Christmas. So we've got the decorations here and I remember we've, like, these were from my childhood. Deep cuts. <laughs> yeah, deep cuts. We had them, because um, this, I think mum said this reminds her of me, because I'm an angel. Um, and then, yeah, there's a few, oops, there's a few other bits and bobs here, so we're going to try to... Okay, I, she said I'm allowed to film Toto, but not her. <laughs> yeah, but there's a few other bits here, so we're gonna yeah. I'm gonna put the lights out as well. So I'm very excited. Thoughts, Mr. Hutt? I think no matter where I put it, it's gonna be wrong. Yes, <laughs> and that's okay. And that is fine. I accept that, and that's good. Totika, do you like Toto? Do you like Toto? He's an old man, Toto. Yes. Bella Buddha, yes, yes, he's a good boy, yes, 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 he's the best boy. We found the cat. <laughs> oh, mum's calling him. Oh, 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 let's go see him on side. The other cats as well. Safe to say that we need to up our cat game. Yeah. Look at this. My dad really likes cats, so they've got tons of... Toto! Toto! Okay, had tons of cats. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Weird meow for the camera. Yes! He's <laughs> got such a weird purr. He does. He's like, Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Sounds like he smokes 20 a day. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. She's the favorite. Hi, sweet pea. I know. Oh, you baby. Same car vlog. 
Um, we, we're just about to leave home now and we are on the search for the best coffee in Bucharest, which is a very subjective thing, I know, but we found an article that says um, best 14 coffee shops in Bucharest and we've got a few um, that we'd like to go and try, or at least one of them anyways, and then just go and have a meander around the city and see what we can find. Tom managed to get his Govri Govishina yesterday, but we'll get another one today. And yeah, I'm just gonna go and have a little bit of fun in the Just waiting for the metro. It might be the right metro. We don't know. I'm not 100% sure where we're going, but as soon as I see a map of the metro, I'll kind of get my bearings and figure it out but this is where I used to get the metro every day for school and I was when I lived in Romania so it's very um, like nostalgic for me even the smell and everything is quite is the same um, so I'm glad I get to experience some of that with Tom Hello. the cool thing is that um, anywhere you go in Romania you can't actually enter any kind of like shopping center or supermarket without like your vaccination passport and because so many people aren't vaccinated, it's quite nice and quiet everywhere. <laughs> we went to the Christmas market last night and it was maybe because it was like a Monday evening, but it was absolutely dead and it was beautiful because you could see all the stalls and it was just really nice. So just waiting for the metro now and yeah, on to the next adventure. So it's quite a little interesting uh, building there. It's called Gemini Center, which means Twin Center. Little known fact, this is where we acquired the twins from. Take them back. <laughs> sugar in my lemonade. Well that'd be a good idea for make it a little bit sweeter. And of course what we have here is salt and pepper. So what would one assume this jar is of quite large crystals? It's salt. It's also salt. I've salted my drink. I've made a mistake. And you almost vomited <laughs> I almost vomited trying to. I'm sorry. <laughs> but also it's quite funny. Yeah. finally found our coffee shop um, it's in a really weird kind of off the beaten track location but it looks really nice and hipstery hey handsome hi so we found <laughs> the most hipster cafe in all of this yep the guy gave us a 15 minute like spiel about coffee TED talk. <laughs> yeah, his ted dog on coffee which i really appreciate because i like that kind of stuff 
So they're prepping our flat whites in their Christmas blend now. So they recommend stirring it, stirring the milk from in because apparently you can taste the um, notes and the flavours of the coffee better. And we went for their Christmas blend, um, which so I went for the honey one. Um, it doesn't have honey in it, but it has. It's a slightly sweeter blend. And Tom just went for their standard Christmas blend. You try first. Let me know what you think. Mm, it's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, excited. So we have the um, Romanian Holy Trinity. <laughs> Palinka, slanina and onions. And you're supposed to eat those three together with a bit of bread as well. Final day in Bucharest. It's so foggy. You those can't are the see anything. Of Parliament, somewhere. Yeah, behind those trees, but you can't see anything because it's super, super foggy. And Last time we came here, at the beginning of the week, we saw a cereal cafe where you can go and get different types of cereals. So we're going to go sample it now on our last day, mm. as per this guy's request. Yeah. <laughs> and then I need to go exchange something in the mall, because I bought a size too big. And then we're just going to meander. We're meeting my parents at one o'clock, so we need to keep ourselves busy until then. I'm sure that won't be a problem. No. <laughs> yes, it says open from 9 o'clock and it's 10 past 9 and there's nobody there and the lights are off so I don't know if we should wait or maybe somebody's in the back trying to open but that's ridiculous. If it's open from 9 o'clock, why, why is it not open from 9 o'clock? So we got coloured milk as well. Cheers. And I got um, marshmallow fruit pebbles and uh, Captain, no, Fruit Loops? No. What did I get? Lucky Charms. And then what did you get? I got um, <laughs> the Fruit Loops with marshmallows and Captain Crunch pebbles of candy floss. I got. Nice. I'm excited. Let's dig in. It tastes like purple. What do you think? It tastes like blue. <laughs> I think your teeth are blue. <laughs> it's delicious. I love it. Um, so we're just packing our bags now to leave and it's time for a souvenir haul. Well, they're not all souvenirs, but they're just stuff that we've bought in Romania. So we'll start on this side. Um, this is sauce de usteroi or garlic sauce vegeta from one of my friends who I think might be watching so if you're watching this is for you mold wine spices which we've struggled to find in the uk so um we got a packet so that's from the fancy coffee shop that we went to in bucharest um comfort blend which has notes of marzipan raisins and caramel and it is really nice hopefully we haven't tried this one but um their other coffee was really nice so i'm very keen to try these beans we got this lovely handmade mug um, for Tom's mum and her morning coffee and I love the color I love the sage green and you can tell it's handmade because it's got the signature of the artist on the bottom and then we also got this other mug for our social worker who's been absolutely brilliant um, throughout the whole process so we wanted to get her a little something from Romania because she was excited that we were going so we got her a bigger coffee cup which I love the shape of it and the colours are just so beautiful and again you've got the signature of the artist that made it and it's all hand decorated so I hope she will like this because 
It's just a, a little thank you to, for all the lovely things that she's done for us. BG went to see Father Christmas recently and when he asked her what she wants, um, she said she wants a reindeer. So we're doing a Christmas Eve box for her with that is um, reindeer themed, obviously. So we got her these cute little, um, well, they're not reindeers, but they're bears wearing <laughs> reindeer antlers. Um, there's some slipper socks and then we also got her this oh it's really hard doing this with one hand <laughs> um a set of pajamas that she can have in her christmas eve box and mum and dad got her these reindeer antlers to go with it as well and they also got her some reindeer socks and then i also got her this jumper that i think is actually really cute so it's from this brand called CNA um, that used to be in the UK but it's not in the UK anymore so you can't find this in, in the UK which is why I wanted to get it. Um, it's got little scalloped um, sleeves and like the bottom is scalloped as well and I just really like the flowers and everything. So My mum also got um, BG this little lolly that we can put in her Christmas Eve box so that's very cute. Um, and then we got well, mum got these two candy canes for the boys. So boys, you've got something to look forward to. Um, then we went to Sibiu and we went to the Christmas market in Sibiu and I got this little house, um, which I think actually looks really cool. It's all wonky and stuff um, and artsy, but I love the color of the roof and it is a tea light holder. And then I also got this, which is probably the most beautiful thing I got, but um, this is a hand-painted little jewellery case box thing. Um, and look at the beautiful decorations on, um, on the front and at the bottom. And this is all hand-painted by a lady in a traditional kind of Transylvanian style. And then from the same lady, I also got this heart, which again, absolutely gorgeous, painted in a traditional style. Last but not least, we got these big fluffy wall um, slippers for Tom's mum and Tom's grandma because um, they like having cozy feet so the red ones are for mum and then the blue ones are for grandma so yeah quite a lot of stuff and I've still got some secret stuff there that I'm not going to show because it's for people that I know watch her vlog so um, we're not going to show that and Mr Hallett Mbine so we're at the airport, um, we've just gone through check-in and I had a traumatic experience because um, they asked me to prove my settled status and I, I don't have any proof of it, we're not given any proof. So I had to go on the government website and find something um, to prove my settled status. But the woman was so mean to me as well, she was like, well, other people showed me emails and I'm like, I genuinely don't have anything to prove it. I was very scary. but. We got through, I found something on the website and now we're just sat down with a coffee and Tom. Hi. That was very stressful though. Mm. We've got two hours left until our flight and then we're back in the UK. Hopefully. But who knows? We're flying with us, so who knows where we'll end up being dropped off. Lisbon. I wouldn't mind. Week in Lisbon. <laughs> Anyways, we had a lovely time in Romania, so I miss it already. It was very nice. Did you have a good time? It was beautiful. Yeah? What yeah. was your favourite part? Uh, the mountains. Sinaya. Yeah, same. Ditto. Anyways, mm -hmm. bye for now. <laughs> Tom managed to find some hard candy with Amandina cream somehow. I love Amandina. <laughs> And obviously they love you as well. Yep. Well? Tastes like Amandina. Nice. Does no. it actually? Is it rummy? Yeah. Nice. Good luck. <laughs> Your teeth are brown. <laughs> yeah.